inch or so and spacing it out about every 11 inches. Um, to get that roof cement down, go ahead and push down on it firmly to make sure that it gets a good seal. And then you can continue on with that process, moving across the roof, putting a dab about every 11 inches or so um, underneath that tab. Um, that will make sure that it's well adhered uh, and won't lift off easily. And you can see the strip that was originally there in some older roofs as they get age on them, you will see that those dry out and they lose some of their adhesion and they do start to peel up just as I pulled them up there. The other thing is, is while you're focusing on that first row, you may want to just take a look up your roof, see if there's other shingles. If there is something that you can easily reach and feel comfortable getting to, by all means, go ahead and get to, get to that shingle and, and put another uh, bit of roof cement onto it. Um, but the key is, is doing it safely, right? Once you get onto the roof uh, in hot weather, these things can become slippery. The uh, granules will actually lose adhesion into the asphalt shingles, um, and that becomes like a water slide in a sense. So. Um, and safety is a paramount thing here and when you're getting onto a roof. And if you don't feel comfortable, you should be hiring a contractor to get to that. All right, so if I can safely get to this first row of shingles on my ladder and I only adhere these shingles, how much benefit is just doing this first row going to give me? Doing that is, is key uh, as well as any of them, uh, but especially at the front because once that starts to peel up, you get this sort of cascading or unzipping effect where the next layer is going to go in, and you're starting with the exact first row here so stopping that one at least gives you some benefit to it uh, it's not to say that you won't have that problem later on up the, on the roof uh, but getting that first one is key too because there's so much going on right here at the front edge you've got um, flashing that curls around the front typically as well um, and basically all the layers are starting here that become part of your roof. But the key here is multiple layers of protection. You want to keep the shingles on, but you still want to have those additional layers of protection beneath the shingles. Absolutely. They all work together. It's like a big sandwich. And, and you know, if your roof doesn't stay for the storm, it doesn't protect you from the rain, you are in the elements for that entire time. And you might think it's completely cost prohibitive, but that doesn't necessarily have to be the case. No, it doesn't. And so, for example, the gable ends of the house, that triangular part on the end of the house of the roof there, uh, that can be blown in very easily. And in order to reinforce that, all you need is a two by four. You just stand the two by four up against the gable root, the uh, gable end on the inside of the house. So it's only the cost of the two by four and whatever it takes to bang that in. Uh, soffit vents underneath the roof. If you just take some screws and you, you screw those in, they can secure those. That's the cost of screws. Yeah. And then, you know, hurricane clips themselves and those actually join the trusses or the rafters to the top wall. Each one of those costs 90 cents. So, you know, if you've got to install a hundred or a couple hundred of those, it's not very much at all. Yeah, you know, uh, I know you're not on social media all that often, but we're going to make you in the break type that out onto Twitter so people <laughs> can find the, you know, a two by, the cost of the two by four is not that great. I mean, that, that should, you know, make some people get into action. Yeah, I like that. Uh, there, and you know what, there's, there's, there's so much to protecting your home. Uh, if you're already up looking at your roof, make sure the gutters are clear. That's always a problem at my house, and then the yeah. water's not going down the right way. Yes. Uh, so again, there are some simple things you can do, and you cannot wait until the tropical storm force winds are there to be up on a ladder looking at your roof. It's too late by then. Right, exactly. So, you know, this slowing storm gives you the, 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 the benefit of time still. We have, you know, a couple more days into South Florida. Before a little bit of time. Yeah, and uh, such a mean storm. I mean, this storm 